You're front and center on camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making weights. Messing with molten lead. Is that all lead or is it a mixture? Well, you know, just the way they say, probably about all lead. I don't know. Yeah. That little thing gets pretty high. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Hey, Dale. Hey, Sip. We're making weights tonight. We fished for the last four nights, just about all night for the last four nights. So tonight we decided to make some weights. We lost several over the weekend, so. But he's got a big old bucket right over here. He's got a whole bunch in it. He made about 100 pounds the other night, but tonight I get to learn. Fun, fun. I'm excited. We sure want to come with Michael. That might be a little hot on the metal part, so I'm going to touch the metal part. Okay. When I open it, it's going to uh, mess up the uh, this thing. No, okay. Okay. Okay, maybe it will. I told you. We're making egg shaped sinkers, two different sizes. With the Hold down the middle. Not really the ones I like, but no. Sometimes you can use them though. I need to get the uh that goes in from there. Yeah, no. <laughs> <clears throat> you need to get the what I can always put uh eyelets in the end of them. Sit down. I got it. Figure it out. <laughs> you having a hard time, over there. No, I got it. And then we're making the what is it? They call them coin or medallion weights. Coin weights. Yep. Two, three, and four ounce, and that one's got a thing in it, mm -hmm. slag or something. Oh, no. Hey, Ed's Crazy Adventures. How you doing? We're making weights. Two, three, and four ounce coin sinkers, medallions, and I don't know what size, how, what the weight is on the other ones, but they're the Egg shaped sinkers. Wow, that was powdered. Yeah, it was at the bottom of the little pot. Oh, okay. Rape around it every now and then. It built up down in there. That must be like a stainless steel spoon. It isn't, it's not in any danger of melting. Yeah, I don't think it's going to melt. <laughs> it's wild that that's still powdery. <clears throat> There's a... The thing with the... Uh, That's a nice holder there for those. <laughs> he, now, he made a bunch the other night. I don't know if you can see down in there, but that's the medallions. He, he didn't make any of the egg ones. And we lost several of the, I think he made the bigger weights the other night, mostly six and eight ounce. Um, I forget what the other name is. 
JBT so that said, so that's what Travis looks like. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, Travis the, other, the other mold five and six. Five and six. Points. Travis is a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> see him shake his head he always shakes his head or when i tell him he is well let's go ahead come on where are you at ed wants to go fishing with us yeah we had it we'll go think about going when we get done doing this but i'm not sure he already was looking on the map earlier i saw him but i didn't say nothing I was kind of looking at the Cumberland River up there. There's been some big fish caught up here lately. Oh, that's a road trip. It's about three hours. I mean, we drive two hours down to Chickamauga. Chickamauga so. I'm I'm not a professional at this, people. So, don't even think I am. This is like the second time I've ever made weights. <laughs> JVT said that handsome devil he needs to be in the camera more that stallion <laughs> <laughs> he can't be your sugar daddy so might as well forget that now hey Chucky <laughs> so that's what Travis looks like <laughs> you always see his backside when he's casting that's when she lets me catch. Well, I should say she lets me cast a rod. Listen here, I don't need none of your lip. You catch, you catch whatever you want to, and you can fish whenever you want to too. I'm limited. Well, if I'd have known you was looking at the Cumberland River, I'd have been like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the last two Tennessee records come off from our team. Yes, they did. Uh, uh, you live in Oklahoma? Well, that's going to be a little bit of a trip for you. Yeah, that's a ride there. But if you ever find yourself in East Tennessee, hit us up. I'm going to try to have her help me do this, but I don't know how that's going to work out, people. Well, I said nowhere without any gloves on or anything. You got glove, another set of gloves? I've got one more glove over here. Okay. You tell me what to do, and I'm there. <laughs> trying to heat this mold up a little bit anyway. It'll heat up pretty quick when I start pouring that lead in it, but the problem is if you don't heat that mold up, it'll clog up the hole on it. We're making some egg sinkers. And... When it when it clogs up that hole on it, you might as well just open it up and dump it out. Forget it. Well, I ain't gonna say forget it, but Stop. you can pull it out and actually keep pouring. Sometimes, from my experience, last time anyway. He's, uh, JBT said, "I need to make weights too. I made egg sinkers two years ago, and now I finally need to make some more. It's definitely worth making your own if you can find lead for cheap or free." Well, my buddy. He had all these weights, all this lead and weights and molds and everything. And they just never would. I kept telling them, I said, we need weights. We need weights. We need weights. And he said, well, just go by Kevin's over there and pick all that stuff up and make some. I said, okay. So I went and got all the stuff. And I'm going to make them. Yep. He, uh. I think he had about, it's probably a thousand pounds of lead. Some of it came from the tire shop. Yeah, that I tried the tire shop lead. It does not work. Okay, so it was this bar lead that was working out better. Yeah, the bar lead. I mean, maybe the older weights for the from the wheel weights will work, but any of this crap, it won't work. I don't know what it is, but I can't get it to melt. That's what a big pile of that stuff is. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think all them filled up. They might have. We live um, in East Tennessee, Ed, all along the Tennessee River.
right now we're um about probably 35 minutes north of knoxville yeah but we fish uh all along he lives up here next to norris but we don't fish norris and i should try norris more really i mean a lot of people will say well they're out there you just got to find them flathead channel cats at norris really though but he uh we mostly fish Fort Loudon, Watts Bar, Chickamauga. I've not poured it as easy with that having to use the rod, so we're going to find out how that, that seems like that works. It, it moves anyway. I assume I got to pull that out before. Anonymous said the antimony and tire weights makes it harder to melt. Yeah, all this weight, all this uh, lead and stuff, they already had, so I guess it's pretty much free. So what do you do here? Knock that off? Just knock these. You take your gloves. Or what I was doing the last time was I take I would take the spoon. Uh-huh. And just knock them out like that. <laughs> So that way you know next time. Now you can stick them in there. Now I'm telling you, that stuff gets hot. So you can take uh, hold hold that and stick your little things in there. You bring it this way. You what? I need a glove on the other hand. You ain't got another more gloves? Probably some more. And what I do is make sure I pour a little at the top right there, people, so you just twist it off. Okay. I don't know how everybody else does it, but it seemed like the last time, at first I was trying to pour them <laughs> right at it. That didn't work too good. They didn't want them off too good. A pair of pliers. A pair of pliers? For yes, what? So that I can lay them in there. It's going to be hot. Well, here's how you do it. Take it. Mm hmm Take it on the end, stick it there, stick it there. That's not hot? Well, I mean, it'll get hot. You know, you get to just close it. Okay. When you close it, you make sure it's just closed, all the way. That's the way I do it. Okay, it's the first time I've any of these eggs, thank you. Let's see how they came out. Uh, well, one of them came out. The other one looks like it. I'll show it to you. I think we might be able to get some more lead on it. <laughs> and them's awful big. Yeah, I got heartburn. Are them tongues in the car? No, they're in the bed right now. Uh, I don't know if I can get that off. There we go. That's a big old wig sinker. And it's got a dent in the side. Where? I did it. No, flip it around here. I guess it's just a shadow. I need different bucks to put them in. Yeah. I don't know if I should put them in that or not. But JBT said he bought 400 pounds of lead from this old lady at a garage sale. Her Late husband casted weights and bullets. What do you end up having to pay for? Had a lot of re reloading tools. I gave her $75 and got all of the lead, tons of reloading equipment. It was already clean lead in two pound ingots. He made tons of two and three ounce egg sinkers and about 500 one ounce 12 gauge slugs. <laughs> <laughs> right here's mostly what we got. I don't even know what. Probably about five pounds. I don't know if that's five pounds. How much that was? Probably about five pounds. You want to see? We got uh, scales in the car. You need to check them, stupid scales. Well, let's let's check them. I don't know what you're gonna put that on. Check it. Well, I don't know anything. A bag. 
A Walmart bag can't weigh much. Mm. Now we need to try to get this other one out. But... Next up. What is it? What did it turn out like? What does it look like? Oh. The side of it's missing. Yeah. It clogged up the thing is what it done. So these cool. molds start getting warmed up good, then it'll do that. But it is what it is. That one's got a little dibbit in it, but I don't think the fish will care either way. Not so funny, I don't know. Guess they just put them in there. Don't really care for them. I don't know if I make them a lot of them eights, though. I don't know if we're going to use that many eights. The sixes seem to be better. I don't look forward to the Jake Simpson. What's going on with I'm going to put the thing in there. Just pour it. You got to wax its rod and everything. I think I you got to wax it. What are we doing? I'm talking to the camera. What do you mean? I'm just supposed to be doing? I weigh in that thing or something. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you said I was supposed to be doing something. <laughs> I'll do it. It's a good time. You don't know. Okay. okay. We got them set up again. So we get this black crap off the thing. I should have got my bolt cutters out and cut some of that over. Lay it up. Bolt cutters, do you know what they are? Uh, they may be in the trunk of the Ultima, or I think I got a smaller pair in the uh, truck. Behind the driver's seat, I think. <laughs> that says it weighs 3.2 pounds. So it's going to be a three pound. <laughs> I may end up having to break down and go in and get the uh, tones. You just pour enough extra on that to get it to make sure you knock it out? Yeah, so you can twist it off because it's, uh, and it'll do it real quick. I mean, I can pop them out right now. Hopefully. That's the cool thing about it. I'll say that, maybe it doesn't want to come out. It'll come out. And it seems like the hotter the lead you get. And I did notice that with certain lead that I was using the other night was a lot smoother than the others. Maybe it gets hotter. I don't know. Fish Head Video said, I want to try my own weights and jig heads. Cool stuff. Hi, by the way. Oh, how you doing? JBT says, drink some of that lead, Cindy. It'll clear up that heartburn. Also put hair on your chest. Hey, Jefferson. <laughs> It says uh, there's a video where a guy was casting lead ingots and his dog runs by and hits the table. Freaking lead flew everywhere. No one got hurt, but he sure was pissed off. I bet he was. Yeah. That's a mess and a half. I can only imagine this stuff getting on your skin. It would be bad. I used to roof houses and we had a new guy who was doing a build up roof, tar roof. We had a new guy. I was running the kittle down there. And uh, 
for some reason, he wanted to come down there. And he was down there. I don't know why he was down there. But he decided he'd take a, I guess it was fascinating him or something. But I was over next to the kid and he wanted to come over and pitch a piece of that tar into that thing. And of course, that stuff splashed up and hit my arm. I mean, eat me up. Oh, I was mad. I was ready to kill him. Note yourself. Don't lay off of your heartburn medicine for a couple of days. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't recommend it. Heartburn sucks. Heartburn does, but it's not as often. I thought. See? I need a pair of gloves. I wouldn't talk about putting the thing in there. I thought about that other mold there that I just poured. Um, okay, what's the sand for? Well, I don't know what that stuff's for. Looks like, uh, it almost looks like some kind of dust or something or another. Maybe somebody on there don't know what it's for. Because I didn't know what it's for. I thought you'd pair leather gloves for my first time catching. But that was pretty fun. I don't know what to do with leather. What? I said, I don't know what to do with leather. No, there's no telling. I would say that they might be in my car, but I don't have one of those, so. No. Not gonna be there. <clears throat> I'm kind of like football. I done did it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Good, you know. Now you don't cook well. I don't put it. You get, no, you're in the wrong one. Oh, well, that ain't going to work for You trying to put on scissors? Yeah, that one don't have a hole. Come on, now. Here it goes. Well, here on the side. Hmm. I said, way over here on this side. There we go. I'm going to do this. I don't know. Oh, no. Throw me back and fish again. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hook out of my lip. Hey, Ashley Brady. What are you doing, man? What's up, Tater Tot, she said. We are pouring lead. Making sinkers. <clears throat> Fish had said, JBT, I watch a lot of those, a lot of SOFs, soft plastic makers. Those guys are always near death. Uh -huh. Soft plastic makers. Yep. I don't know, SOF plastic makers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Making fishing weights. You got 10 people in here watching you make fishing weights. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> kind of interesting. What else are pictures I got over I watched him make them the other night till I fell asleep. Yeah, I looked over. She's on the. <laughs> we were video chatting. Video. He looked over and I was. Dead asleep. <laughs> I woke up in a little while and looked over at my phone. It was off. <clears throat> oh, 
see our concrete pots? Flower pots? We made the last time the fish weren't biting. <laughs> Cement. <clears throat> we briefly, uh, well, not so briefly, got into making everything cement that we could possibly make. <clears throat> Might be too dark for me to see them in our take them on a field trip over there and look at them. I like these right here. What is the uh, what is it just something standard company? I don't know. What is that? S A E Co. Seiko. If I had my phone, I'd look it up for you. Somebody forwarded some of these and made them. Why are they different colors? What do you mean? Someone's got some paint on it. Oh, well, okay. They do cool. <clears throat> Little bitty bars. Ingots. Like a half pound and put a half load on it. They melt better than these big ones. Yeah, it seems to take the big ones a long time. It takes them a minute, that's for sure. They get hot too. I was gonna say, isn't that too much lead for that for the pot? What? That ingot will it fill it up too far? Yeah, we'll pull it out. Right? Oh yeah, okay. That's why I went and found some smaller ones. It doesn't take so long to melt these big ones. Whoa. Too hot. Yeah, that glove's pretty thick and it gets hot. You need thermal gloves. <clears throat> we have them at work. Because them welders. Go, go, leave your brother alone. See ya. Chill. What are you thinking? Come here. <clears throat> Come here, Sierra. What are you doing? Sierra. Uh -huh. I just had the camera pointing towards them. Yeah. yeah they went back over there. <clears throat> He's trying to find him someplace over there to lay down. He'll be over there. He's digging. Does he always do that? Yeah, he'll have a hole dug over there. <laughs> <clears throat> She was already over here at the fence. Oh, after I called her down for fussing or for messing with Chevy. So that's not a job you want to do if you have shaky hands, huh? Well, no. Well, chat's not moving. <laughs> like, why we want to watch the way you do? I don't mind. It's kind of boring. Uh oh. What about the top thing? What? It had the looping on there still on that weight, didn't it? A what? Didn't you just put no. a weight in there? It ain't on there. I think it. Huh? A little red deck or something. Yeah. No. They're like. We want to see them fishing. Yeah. I'd rather be fishing. Yeah. I figured he needed a night off, you know. Being old and stuff and us fishing four nights straight all night. I need two gloves. That way I could break that stuff off of them. Uh. I need two gloves. Where's your other one? You got two gloves and I got one. There should be another one still. 
This was a single one. Final single one. Oh. Rex needs some sinkers, he said. Which is probably 500 miles away. I think Rex is pretty far away. He said, hey, I need some sinkers. <laughs> They're hot. Hot sinkers. Hot sinkers. That's what I should have named the live. <laughs> hot sinkers. Oh, Rick said, I'm your neighbor. Oh, yeah. I think you told us the other night. Probably didn't. I probably told him I'd ask him a few more times, too. I didn't know he was going to make sinkers. I went and got me some gloves. Oh. He said, I'll be right over. Okay. Well, come on. You can come help us make them. I'll just warn you. The dogs are going to get all excited and probably start fighting. I actually think they only thought about him, but. Yeah, they get all excited until we got to get comfy. Oh. What happened? The goo was hot. That's my finger to it. Don't do that. I got a hole in that one. See? Oh, crap. Why don't you. Oh, it's wrong glove. Never mind. It's not going to help you any. What, putting that glove on? Mm -mm. No, I don't think it helps. Missy Kennedy says she makes her own weights too. Cool. It's a whole lot cheaper, that's for sure. If you ever go buy them, it's like they're crazy. Remember that one bait shop that you you sell Skip Jake too? How much they wanted for them? What was it they was wanting? It was like two ninety nine and three ninety nine and like three bucks four ninety nine, depending on how many how much yeah. ounces it was. I mean, it's bad enough you go to Walmart and buy some slider sinkers or something or them egg sinkers. You just gotta pick some up, but and then there's <clears throat> then there's a variety of them that half of them you don't use. I had some in the car and I didn't have uh, what I needed. So I, uh, I think I put three half ounce or maybe ounce weights on my slaughter. Oh, yeah. Heck, that one time we even used the weights off that old cast net. <laughs> yeah, we just put a string to them and or put leader line through them and hook them on the slide. She said a four pack is four bucks there. What size? He said Rex wanted to know what mold that is. Which one? The egg or the no row or the medallion no or coin sinkers? That's a two, three, and four ounce right there. Yeah, this is a two, three, and four. And it makes the coin sinkers. You might River sinker. Yeah. yeah. She'll read it to you. Maybe she'll get it showed to you right there. It says river sinker. Two, three, and four ounces. And then it's got the model number there.
<clears throat> I feel like we need to move the meeting. You shouldn't be hot. They're not, but I'm trying not to touch your other thing. Yeah. Or any of that hot sway. I don't know what is hot and what's not hot. You know what I mean? Burn. <laughs> She's gonna touch something hot here in a minute. You'll be like, ow! Yeah, you'll get to hear me. Yep. I'll show you the big whisker that comes up on my hand. <laughs> hey, Evan. No, 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 Evan. Thank you, uh... Thank you. Yeah, I got 502, I think. Now I just got to get my watch hours. Macy's going to order a, a mold for jig heads and save a lot there. Yeah. He was watching uh, Bullock earlier. He was doing, uh, or he had a bunch of stuff. I think he's getting ready to start doing for jig, jig heads. Time flies and stuff. Now see that one did not cooperate. The one ounce one she said the four packs for four bucks, one ounce ones. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered a fifty of the uh oh. Nah, nah, nah. It up. Of the half ounce uh I bet it wouldn't work if the wind was blowing a whole lot because uh you cool it off too fast. But we can save it. All right. The little half ounce inline sinkers like we use for skipjacking. They weren't too bad if you ordered a whole bunch of them. But we use a lot of those on our skipjack rigs. I wish we could get on some skipjack. Yeah, I hate going chasing them constantly. When they ain't biting good, I'd rather wait for them to gather back up. Let me go catch a bunch of them all at once. Yeah, we were in Bullocks earlier, and uh, I was looking at all that stuff, and I was like, man, I think I'd like tying jigs. You can tie jigs if you want to. I'm going to probably go to Walmart and buy a few and go fish yeah. Sounds like a lot of time to me. Well, yeah, I'd rather go fishing. <laughs> I'd I always mean, rather go fishing. Time jigs. No, that, no, you won't. <laughs> the answer to do I want to go fishing is always going to be yes. He asked me sometimes, you want to go fishing? I just look at him. Like, don't be ridiculous. That ain't even a rational question. On Wednesday nights and stuff when I'm working... I feel like absolute and utter crap the next day. Do I mind? Do I care? Do I go the next week? Yes. I don't care. Oh, that looks like it bent. It is. I guess I laid it down. Huh. Yeah, it's not that ain't good. It's so <laughs> that thing looks like it might be flimsy. I bet it got hot and bent right there. Copper. Fixed. Starting to look a little bit better. Up, my can, warming up. I was gonna say I could probably knock them out of there, but the other night was the. Uh, 
Let's go fishing, Riggs. Let's do it. She said wintertime is awesome for making jigs. We fish in the winter. <laughs> Unless it's just absolutely bitter cold. I mean, like dangerous cold. We fished all winter. Rex, I'm always down to fish. Have I ever said no? Nope. And usually he's ready to go before I am. I do have times when I fall asleep, though. I ain't gonna lie. Very rarely anymore, but sometimes. Yeah, I didn't take glasses off, yeah. Uh -uh. I like it when I come out like that. You know why? I didn't have my glove on either. Only good reason. What are you doing? Trying to knock that off. It'll be okay. I'll get off in a minute. You don't hear all the destruction. <laughs> Mayhem. I can't help it. I couldn't get it off. Well, I only got one glove. Well, not my fault. I want to help. What are you doing? I'm trying to put That's them fine. in. That's fine. Just leave it like that. It'll pop up when you close it. It's kind of went through the straight a little bit. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> you just throwed it right down in there. I dropped it. Dude. What's the matter with her? <laughs> you over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know I want to be hands on on everything. I can't hit it. Well, that's a good thing all the time. No, no. I'd just as soon not get burned. I'm saying we're not get burned either. They should be hearing about it all week. I need to make some money this week, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could make some money fishing. <laughs> I'd be rich. <laughs> Too bad to skip that thing. I know it. Everybody won't skip that. Girl, girl's showing out. Yeah, no. She's not used to you being out here much, is she? No. Were they showing out the other night when you were out here pouring? No, not really. What's she doing? Nothing. She's Nothing just up the at the. No, right now she's just up here at the fence looking. Now she's going back to mess with her brother. Actually, he's messing with her. Yeah, yeah they're playing. Don't be agreeing with it. Oh yeah. Now she's got her, her little uh, empty stuffed animal. Mm -hmm. She's shaking it everywhere. Damn chickens. <laughs> they hate that thing. The chickens hate that stuffed animal? Man, you can pick that stuffed animal. This is what it is, people. It's, uh, it's a stuffed animal that Sierra tore the stuffing out of, and she it's out here in the yard, and she will grab it and shake it. Well, it was laying out there one day. Hey, Mr. Rogers. I think it was out back. And uh, 
I picked it up and I come around through there. And them chickens was around there. I've only got like five chickens. But you talking about some chickens running, they're scared to death of that thing. I don't I don't know why. Maybe because she shakes it or something or they might Whatever, think it's but. a it's a chicken that she's already had at. <laughs> well, they killed a few of them. I had to break them from want to kill the chicken. Uh, I came home. No, I woke up and I heard the chicken squawking. And no, that was the second time. The first time, I came. I pulled in the driveway and they're playing tug of war with a chicken on the steps. So I took the chicken from him, gave him whooping. Figured, okay, well, you know, I guess things happen. Well, they woke me up. They had another chicken. Or they was about to kill it anyway. But by the time I got out there, they done broke its neck and it's flopping around and stuff. So I took the chicken. And so I chased them all the way in the house, out of the house, flipping them with the chicken all the way out back. And I whooped them with that chicken, and they ain't touched chicken since. <laughs> They're like, we don't want to be whooped with the dead chicken again. <laughs> kind of ugly way, too. Might be that laid out. Just uh, crinkle. Deal up quick. Hey, are these Katie Dids loud? Yeah. Cicadas, whatever you want to call them. Oh. Don't do it. I know it. Did you see what I wanted? <laughs> yeah, you just want to grab it with your hand with a glove on it. You want to reach right over and grab that thing. <laughs> Mr. Rogers said tenderized chicken. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no doubt. <laughs> this is only Travis's second time making sinkers. It's easy. Yeah. No one on my pay is hard. Okay. Sometimes I don't realize things make as much noise as they do on these speakers. And then I'll listen to the replay and I'm like, dang, it was loud. Voices. Yeah, there's some people walking down that road down over there across the street. That one night that we were fishing in the rain, it hitting that um, covering that we've got. Raindrops were loud. I was like, dang. I so wonder anybody stuck around. Uh oh. They're going to get loud in a second. Yeah. These puppies are on guard. Yeah. No. Chevy, you can't even see him out here. <laughs> no, he can sneak up on you quick. He's, yeah. You can't, and he's got that blaze of white on his chest, but you can't see it when he's outside here. Okay. See Travis's pile of fishing rods we were talking about on the live the other night. Big old stack. 
Got too much stuff. Huh? So I got too much stuff. Yeah, you got every stuff. What? Piece I put in there don't want to mail. Uh, it was one of them round pieces. Yeah. You'll sink down in there in a minute. Yeah, the uh, the light colored one. No, that's a girl. Her name's Sierra. She's a red nose. Nancy asked if you'd ever had the lead pop out on you yet. No, I try to make sure the <clears throat> that everything is dry. Uh. I think that's the main cause of lead popping. And I don't really want it to pop out there. I know the sun was out all day today and I had this lead outside, so. Yeah, I try to make sure everything's dry because. The only problem with doing it at night is the dew falling, but. Well, it's not that bad. No. Because that thing already good and hot so it ain't gonna mess with it too much this big black one is a boy he's a black american exactly the one that really guards the fence if somebody gets close to that fence he will <laughs> they better not stick their hand over it that's for sure <laughs> take it off Chevy is a, a sweetie, but he is not to be trifled with. But it's just being territorial is all it is, really. I mean, Missy said, uh, boy, it hurts and it scares you to death. Well, I bet it does. What? Did you figure out what did it? Was it water? Mr. Rogers said, is she a golden tip pit? This, she's a red nose pit, she isn't is she? She's a red nose fawn. Straight out of Kentucky. I think she was bred a little too close, to you truth, because her mom and dad look identical. And both of them look good. I mean, they even had looked like they had the same personalities. <laughs> and I shouldn't have got her whenever I found out <clears throat> the daddy actually tried to kill the pups. Killed a couple of them, apparently. And the mama laid on them uh, trying to protect them. And I think she ended up killing one. And I ended up getting her like five weeks, five weeks. I think that she was five weeks because he wanted to go ahead and get rid of them. That's a good, yeah. she wasn't a good mom. Well, she was trying to protect them. The daddy was trying to kill them. So he tried to go ahead and get rid of them. I ran up there and got one. But she is tempered more. She has that, uh, I, I almost call it like tunnel vision. Once she goes into that mode, you got to snap her out of it because she, if she gets concentrated on one thing to go after it, she's going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Yeah, she snaps over into that pit bull mode. Um, dirt. Dirt. Hmm. A little piece of metal in dirt, she said. I, looked, I think I'm thinking she meant metal, uh, dirt in the metal. Well, that's interesting. I hadn't run into that yet. Uh, hopefully, I don't. 
I don't care. I wouldn't care much for this stuff popping around. That's for sure. I'd be careful dropping it and then putting it in there then. Mm -hmm. Like that that you drop on the ground? You could experiment. You can put some dirt in there and see what happens. <laughs> Let me go inside. <laughs> You're going to be throwing hot lead around. <laughs> Let's test it. That's not and say you did. <laughs> What do you think we put water in the lead? Oh, no. Hey, there's an ant over there on that bucket. We can lead by leadifying. Small. Now he's wanting to put a bug in there. What's the matter with you? <clears throat> Caught it now. Tim is on break and watching. We're done, Tim. Don't send if we're gonna keep fishing. She had four lead. See so how that worked out. He's pouring lead. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "I burnt holes in my shirt and shorts beside what landed on my legs." Ooh. Was no fun. Yeah, I can imagine that took a minute to get over. Seems like it keeps burning even all the way down. Ooh, you can get... So you could get it off, it would. That wind needs to quit. It's okay. I actually prefer it to be a little little bit of breeze blowing smoke fuses off it. I would think it'd change how fast it cools down when you're trying to pour it though. Yeah, it'd be okay. Ooh. What? She said uh, yep, peel off and pull hide too. Yeah. Like meat. Burn a hole for me. Thank you. Tim, he said congrats on the 500. Yeah. Now, now I'm working on watch hours. <laughs> He'll be going live 20 times a day. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. It's just been fun trying to get there. Like a game. Kind of, yeah. They set a thing for you to a goal for you, and then oh, well, yeah. why not try to get there? <laughs> Rick said, I have cast iron molds from the 50s, I can make up the eight ounce bank sinker. The bank sinker, you talking about like the teardrop ones? Uh. Missy said, Travis, leave a little melted lead in your pot and it goes faster. It goes faster. Like melting it, you mean? Oh, I do, yeah. I try to I try not to empty it all the way. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I made that mistake last time. Seemed like it took forever to heat back up whenever it uh but that thing's awful little i've got uh this thing here in an eye but that just seems like ridiculous to try to pick up and pour out of yeah i was thinking that she said the other little melt a lot faster Tim said that little dog looked like a mix between a skunk and a raccoon. 
Oh, her little. What is it? My really Pomeranian, yeah. Pomeranian, yeah. She's funny though. She definitely got some personality. No, Hank Sinker. Hmm? Bank Sinker, Hank Sinker, Bank Sinker. <clears throat> Um, she is actually just a solid black Pomeranian, Tim. But she developed vitiligo, which humans normally get that causes them to have like two different colored pigmented skin. But apparently dogs can get it too. But it normally only affects her their face. And she has it all over her whole body. So she went from being a solid black without a without a bit of white on her anywhere. And she had a little white mustache and then kept that just the little white mustache for a long time. And then all of a sudden she started turning white everywhere. So she's always a, like a celebrity when she goes to the vet. Everybody, all the vet takes and everybody have to look at her. They've got a picture of her on her account. And then anytime I see it, I show anybody pictures of her or anything, they're like, wow. But yeah. Now, I don't know where they got this stuff, but it says uh, Kessler solder. That stuff works good. Solder? Yeah. Hmm. It's heavy like the lead. I mean, it's just lead, right? I'm kind of. It's not tin, is it? No, I had, uh, there's some tin over somewhere that I had. And it says solder on it, so I don't know exactly. Well, it's solder a lot of times is lead. I don't know the difference. In it. I'll see if I can find some of that other one here in a minute. I was just wondering if your sinkers weighed true. Oh, I don't know. Now this says pure tan here. She is pretty and she's a baby. That says pure tan. Are you supposed to put tan in your sinkers? It doesn't matter. As long as well. well heavy. Hmm. <laughs> Jefferson said that's a serious stick of solder <laughs> <laughs> yeah considering it's in the usually like in a little wire <laughs> any solder I ever worked with was just the wires thin wires I think there's a mixture that works best for sinkers and I've, I'm just too lazy to look it up but I don't really care as long as it makes a sinker these are the solder ones, I think. Yeah. And that it's heavy enough to uh, yeah. carry your bait out there. Yeah, I got a whole bucket full of them. Well, he went to cast one of them six ounce sinkers the other night. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you heard snap. <laughs> and there went yeah. the sinker. Lead. Now we just got to buy some more sinker slides. I got a whole bucket full over there. Yeah, he has about a thousand pounds of lead. I don't think I've ever used them weights, so I don't. Them wheel the tire weights? weights. Yeah. Because they would not melt. No, he's, that person uh, earlier said they have to, uh, something in them that makes them not want to melt. Yeah. But not solid lead. I know in some of the states you can't use lead sinkers anymore either. Because of their poison? Yeah. I was just wondering if tin would be heavy enough. It would be pretty heavy. I like how fast it it dries like that and it changes colors real fast.
I'll pour some of them if you want me to, but. You know I like learning anything new. Yeah, I know. Not what you learn yourself of. Uh oh, that one broke right off. That's handy. Yeah, actually it's not. <laughs> no, because then you can't get it out of there, can you? It came out pretty good. I was having to take my knife off the other day when I was doing it there for a while and get certain ones out. <laughs> Kim said they make zinc sinker sinkers also to cut down in, in the uh, on the lead in the water. As much lead as we've lost in the water, if everybody's losing back. that much, that, man, does it lead stick to? The magnets? Hmm. Does lead stick to the magnets? <laughs> I don't know what sticks to magnets. And now, now, if these eyelets, if you could pick these sinkers up by these eyelets, it would actually be worth knowing where their snag's at and go out there and see if that magnet would pull it up by that. Because we know there's a bunch of them in the lakes. Um, yeah. Greg said there's zinc in most of the new stuff. But Missy said those have a plastic in the tire weight. Be careful, they pop too. A plastic in the tire weight? Yep. I believe it. Greg said I'll get lead from the stink pipe. Yep. I've heard about people using that. Person find old uh, sailboat. Most of them has got a bunch of lead in the, uh, what do you call it, the keel or whatever keel, that thing on the bottom of them. Yeah. Keep them up or out. No, if he goes through all the lead he's got here, he'll be doing something. Well, I'll end up giving some of it back out to my buddies that... Ricky, he, uh, this stuff says, I think, either his or Kevin's, I don't know. I thought he bought it from Kevin. He might have had. I think he did, anyway. I think that's what he told me. Oh, Kevin loaded you up with all the lead, didn't he? Yeah. But, uh, I'll end up giving them some. And I'm thinking Ricky's got that cannonball weight that I can put these eyelets in and they'll have the eyelets on one end of them and they're round ones though. Oh, he's, he's got, got a, a uh, he's got a mold. Yeah, I think he's got the mold for it. <laughs> We've got all kinds of other molds over here, but not none that I want to use right now. But there's some three, four, and five ounce ones. Yeah. Uh, of course, that's the five and six ounce. I'm not doing right now. No, he made a bunch of those the other day. Missy said the best lead is from lead batteries. Just got to clean them good. True weight right there. And this is an inline weight mold. Let's see that. Which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it or not. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to get certain things to do the things on it, I think. The eyelets. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Jefferson lead, it said lead is a no-no here for sinkers. Can't have them. Yeah, I know some states. There's some uh, one, one and a half, two, three. Are those, yeah, those are just regular sinkers, right? Not in line? Yeah, you put them on the line. Them right there, you do. I oh, hear some uh, six and eight. Big ones for line sinkers, bike sinkers, whatever you want to call. What do they call? Do they have a space for uh, some no the loops? No, you put that uh, all the bar thing in it. Yeah. They're they're online weights. 
in line weights? Yep, basically. Wow. Seems like you'd snap your line. Well, if you if it runs up and down it long enough, it will. Oh, okay. You can it just slides on it. Oh, that's another one of the no rolls there. It's a new one. I don't even think that one's ever been used. It don't look like it. It's in that plastic bag. What does no roll mean? Tell me. So it won't roll. So you take that round thing right there, it won't roll. Or I mean, it will roll. When you throw it, say if you're throwing on an incline, uh -huh. and it gets out there, it's going to roll down it. Oh. If you take, and take one of them. Flat ones. Flat. Teardrop ones. Which these right here. Or the pyramid roll. ones. I would, it'd be too bad you can't get some pyramid shaped molds like the ones you had. These corn sinkers shouldn't roll either. Uh, I think that's why a lot of people use them now. Missy said, man, you got the molds. I um, don't know. Tim said, those are no roll sinkers. I use them. Yeah. She said the lead batteries are the you get true weight on them. And you just have to clean them good. Yeah. I've, I've tried to get laid out of the battery before. It's a, it's a task. That's for sure. Rick said what? Uh, What's the task? Getting the uh, lead out of the battery. Oh, yeah. Rick said I got that one too, but I never use it. It slides up and down your line. Now. You'd have to get those uh, stops, wouldn't you? For ones that slide up and down your line. Yeah, you want to use rubber uh, beads, actually, to keep it from actually breaking your where you tie onto your swivel to your leader. It'll break right there yeah, above that, your swivel. That sinker keeps coming down and hitting that knot. Mm -hmm. It's got potential. I'll say potential to Weaken your line anyway. It, it might break it off too now. Hmm. Well, that didn't just won't come out of there. There we go. That's going to be a big weight. That's for downlining more than anything, really. You think you'll use that many of those? No. <laughs> no, I don't. But I was talking to a guy the other day that uses them, and I told him I'm making some. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Who are you making them for? Uh, are you going to get them to him? Uh, plastic can't... bucket there. Can't remember who he is. Well, I was talking to him on Messenger. So. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that guy you talked to for a while? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, um, Tim said they insert a small plastic hose in the hole to save lime. A what? A small plastic hose. Oh. Yeah. In the hole to save your line. I think that's a good, good idea. Come they on. make them for it? Um, you could probably buy a little hose. I don't know. You say Higgy? Haggy? Homestead? Said hey. Um, and then Miss Kennedy said rubber bead on Amazon cheap. That's what I use. Yeah, that's what, that's what Travis was talking about. Little rubber piece. Yeah. Uh, and I'm the world's worst. I have no lie to tell. I will rig up my rod. And I've got the rubber bead in my in my box. And I never put them on there. Now I usually I usually use the uh the slides, the sinker slides in the sense of the clips, you know what I'm saying? If you've got it's them flat. that had, don't so have I, I usually don't bother with putting nothing on there with them. But I should, actually. 
You would with the sinker slides too? Hmm. It helps with the sinker slides too? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Tim said he also uses B. B. Rex was said, uh, termed, I have eight, ten ounce. If I would throw it, it would knock someone out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah Sometimes we'd like to throw them at some of them recreational boulders that come too close to the bank. <laughs> hey, Billy. What's up? We're just making some sinkers. Let's see. That's a bunch of sinkers. <laughs> Making Easter eggs. We are always into something. Yeah, we're doing something. Oh, huh? that one, that floor one didn't. Didn't work. <clears throat> what happened to it? Oh. oh. It kind of shortchanged itself. Huh? Yeah, still can use it though. Well, I, I think I can fix it. Um. Billy says I use banks, flat banks, and no rolls. We mostly, most of all the time, we use these uh, coin sinkers yeah. on a sinker slide. No, I have to say the distance is, uh, and I don't know what they're called. I, they, I, they're probably just called bank sinkers. Uh, the ones that uh, look like a... Uh, Pyramid? No. Not it was actually for saying. Uh, they look like a teardrop. A okay. whole, the whole teardrop, it's got the, like the octagon yeah. sides. Them suckers. Don't work too hard, Tim. See, Tim. Thanks, Thanks for coming. coming in. Them suckers, they throw better than about any sinker. That one you had that had the curved neck on it? Yeah, I lost it. Remember, I swung across the lake. I don't know if the line it snapped yeah. around the tip or whatever, but it slung that sucker all the way across the lake about it. I wonder if you could get those because that, that had the built in hole. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And the way they're shaped, they seem to throw a lot further. Did you uh, have you looked and seen if you could find a, a mold? A molds? Yeah, you can buy a mold for about fifty to seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Billy said that's banks. That's what I throw. Yeah, they they definitely go through. They're, they look yeah, they look like a teardrop. Only they've got like little sides on them. Yeah, they're not quite yeah. round. You got about six, I think six or eight sides on them. It's kind of yeah. But them things, the ones you had oh look like look old. They looked old, that, that yeah, sinker. Yeah, they beat up. Greg said eBay would have them. Might have, eBay might actually have them cheaper than like Amazon would. That's a good point. If you could get a uh, mold that somebody was uh, yeah. getting rid of. Yeah. You can get Not stuff. Not a bad idea. Get them look on there and see if there's any on there. I can check mine. I've got that active I think eBay you account. could actually put a notification on there, too, if any of them pop up. Rick said, I use four ounce banks. Yep. We need to get the kind of sinker you like. Well, Travis can sling the crap out of it. Free shipping. What he said. I'll check eBay when we go back inside. I hate spending 50 to $70. I don't know. You might, might be able to get them cheaper than that, but I hate spending the money when I've got other kinds of sinkers yeah. <laughs> that you can use. <clears throat> yeah. Because, I mean, like, yeah, you can make these work with a sinker slide and stuff. And yeah, I, I can use the sinker about anywhere. We sometimes we'll use, uh, if, if we get enough current, 
Well, we'll use our own. We'll use the ones we, the same rigs, to bump with. We'll just grab a rod and start bumping. Instead of putting a three-way swivel on and all that stuff. I want to bump. Ain't enough currency. I know. I, that still don't stop me from wanting to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Billy said eBay has them for 50 bucks a mold. Yeah, that's what Travis said, that they were, you don't want to spend that much on a mold. If you had to buy them, you know, if you had to buy them and you wanted that kind, it wouldn't take long to save your money by buying your mold. But if you just make do with other kinds of sinkers in it. Weights are expensive. That's why he's pouring these. Was it Missy or somebody said that earlier that it's $4 for Four pack of one ounce sinkers. Yeah, it's like a dollar an ounce if you buy them. Or higher, depending on where you buy them. I should have taken that uh, scale and check and see how true these weigh. I thought that's what you were doing. No, I've seen how much at Buckley. No. He's making coin sinkers now. Whoops. It went in the bucket. See? Yep. Billy said Brad has them for 250 a pound. Two hundred fifty a pound. That's what it says. Two hundred fifty dollars a pound. Surely he means, I don't know, two two dollars and fifty cents, but there's no decimal, so I just five dollars a pound. Oh yeah, maybe. Not me. There's a place that's up my way called Roger Sales sometimes. You can find them. Tell him don't be a cheap <laughs> don't be a cheap <laughs> ass. <laughs> Two fifty, okay. Two fifty a pound. I think man. I was like, I wasn't sure what he was talking about at first when it's two hundred fifty a pound. I was like, what? I need a venom. <laughs> Venom. Yeah. You should have got up and got one. I should have. I don't know if they've got them down at the shell station. I don't know if I like get one. I'm going to do a whole lot more of these anyway. We could go, uh, how many people you got in there? 14. 14? You just want to go fishing for a little bit? <laughs> catfish. We, might, we might not catch nothing, but you never know. We might. This Catfish Connection has the mold he's talking about for 48 bucks. Oh, what? Well, well it might as well say 50 bucks. Yeah. I need to get one though. I I kind of like them when you don't have to have 
the sinker side and stuff on Yeah, it. you don't have to put the eyelid in them and all that stuff. There's not really no downfall to them. You do use a sinker side with them, though, don't you? How you... Well, I mean, you don't have to put the eyelet for the sinker slide. Yeah. You don't have to put it in them. Yeah, Billy says he normally throws a rivet in a two to four ounces. Yeah. Two to four ounce? Yeah. I'd rather have like a five to six or four to six. And I don't even know if they do the four to six. They probably do a five, six, maybe. A teardrop, yeah. Yeah. And they get you on that because they know which ones everybody uses the most and they will take and split it right there. That way you you got to buy both of them if you want a bigger one. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that much rain here this year. I mean, it seems like we've had rain, but it's not been enough to where they're uh, making the dams we're having to run the spillways or anything giving us any current. Yeah, so. Yeah, we haven't had no current this year. It's made catfishing hard. It's, like it's made bait fruit. fishing hard. It's like what? Yeah, not just a standard current's all we've had, and it's not been nothing really. No. They're humdrum making electricity and everything. <laughs> there ain't much current at the dams, even. That one day we went fishing at the dam because we thought, you know, they'll be running some. We'll be able to catch some. They just turned the generators off. <laughs> we didn't do any count there either. Well, some cleaning. Billy says, I throw them on a sinker slider, just use a clip on my swivel if I don't want them to slide. Mr. Rogers said, Josh and them got it good today, didn't they? Oh, that was funny. Yeah, I told them it was headed their way. Yep, they they just about got blown away. Part of the rods went in the water. I wish somebody would turn the camera around, though, I, so I we could have seen the mayhem. I would have just went and got the rods and pulled them under the thing with me. Yeah. Well, they were way down the bank. Those were those rods were that went in the water. The one uh, that was right in front that the camera was watching turned over, but I don't think they lost them rods. Oh, okay. It was on down. How many did they have left? They had... It looked like that one uh, rod holder had three in it, and then they had some that was spread on on down through there. And I couldn't tell anything because that other rod holder blew down before I could see it. Fifteen rods is what they had. <laughs> we could see three. They ended up losing one, or did they get it back? I can't even imagine using fifteen rods. Well, there were several of them. There was at least three grown men that I could see. There was two, at, one at, under there, I think already under the shelter. And then there was two more that were walking back from trying to get the rods. A kayak, I think, got up against the lines and pulled the rods in. From what I could tell, but they were uh, having to hold the shelter down for there for a few minutes. We had talked about getting a 10 by 10. We've got a 4 by 6. And if me and Travis get real close to each other, it keeps us dry unless the wind's blowing sideways. And we can get the camera under there. That n one night we fished, we, we put our chairs like one in front of the other. Mm -hmm. And then the tripod right there in front of that. And it, because it was just raining down, it wasn't blowing, it, it kept us dry. For the most part. It's funny though. That rod goes down. I don't hesitate to go back and go out in that rain. I don't care. You know, if that rod goes down. <laughs> Especially if it just bends over and stays bent over. It's, oh. It's time getting rain. When I caught that. My new personal best the other day. That's, yeah. It went pretty far over. Not super far. But then it came back up some. And that's when I noticed it. When I watched the replay. I was like. Dang. Dang. 
<laughs> it was like about three or four good seconds that it, that it was over that before I saw it. I had to give up on catching a fish there, though. We'd been sitting there, what, two hours? Well, I knew there had to be one out there. Without so much as a nibble. There's more out there, too. But it was a good spot. We, we fished the next night across the river and didn't get nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, but it was right across the river. You could see the our spot we fished the night before from where we were. But it was a... Uh, for the first night where we were fishing, it's real shallow right there in front of us. Is it? There's an, like an old gravel ramp there, but it drops off to about, what'd you it's say, 38? 38, 38 30, feet. Yeah. It's full of grass. I think it confused the catfish when we let it go because it swam back and forth out there for yeah, five that, minutes. Yeah, that big fish swam and swam and swam around out there. You could see it. I think him all that grass growing out there, he didn't know which way to go. Because more than likely, he had never been up there on that flat before. Mr. Rogers said, I think they got them all back. It kept buffering on me, and then it cut off. Missy said, get you a six-value tarp and block the sides in back, and you're good to go. I Bye -bye. remember somebody saying that the other day. That's a good idea. We need to do that. That way, we can be comfortable when it rains, because you know we ain't going to stop fishing. And in the wintertime, we could put that little buddy heater. In there with us? Yeah, that's when I said, don't be giving her no ideas. <laughs> nope, we're good. We're getting one. <laughs> the next time we go to Walmart, I'm going to the hardware. <laughs> I'm going to have us a little shelter. Last night, we fished all night, and it was, by morning time, you're damp. You probably need to put up the shelter anyway. We have the shelter over his grandson, though. His daughter and grandson fished all night with us last night. And we caught fish. We caught about three fish, three or four fish. It was they were channel cat though, and I've turned it into a catfish knob. A stick. <laughs> She's a mess. <clears throat> Chevy ain't concerned with it. He's laying there. That's what Missy does. Yeah, I was talking earlier. I don't know if you were in here, but yeah. We we fish winter and summer boats. Actually, probably more in the winter time because the fish are hard this time of year. Travis gets disgusted with it and we take a hiatus sometimes. Uh, sometimes you have to take a little bit of a break. It ain't going to be much of a break this year, but. um, No, we've. But we fished through spawn and did pretty good. Yeah, that's true. We did. I mean, we didn't catch no monsters. But right before spawn, I caught that big flathead. But yeah, if you just lower your expectations, spawn is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> There's always something about it. Mr. Rogers said I got my poles all retied and ready to go when I get a chance. There you go. He's been on one himself. Yeah, last year we did we found other stuff to get into. It was I think it was winter time. Or late fall when we started uh, pouring the concrete pots. And uh, that was an experience. Yes. We learned so much about cement and concrete. Got some pretty pots out of it, too. But, um, yeah, we get bad to get into things. We just go out and find something to do. That's why, um, uh, I put adventures on my channel name. I said outdoor adventures, but you just never know what we're going to get into. Neither one of us much likes to uh, sit in a house, so we're going to get out and find something to do. 
learn something normally. How much did the big old channel weigh? Which one? What are you talking about? I caught some. I caught some uh, pretty big channel cat when we first started fishing in Kingston, but they were about seventeen pounds. Not not huge, but not too bad for a channel. I don't know if the channel cat. No, I forget. I don't know if it was that big. That one. We caught one that was like fourteen pounds there. When we first started fishing them concrete box there at Kingston. Mm -hmm. I thought we caught one that was 17. I don't know if we got one that's bigger than that. That might have been a little, little blue. If when channel cats get big like that, it's hard for me. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell the difference. It's right, please. They don't look, uh, they don't have that little, somebody told me to look at that. Is it their anal fin? I don't know. Something like that. But uh, that greenish color, whatever the town cats normally are, is not as pronounced. Oh, we caught a black, black channel. Was that last night? Yeah. Black, black channel cat. They are so weird looking. We caught a real dark blue a while back too, didn't we? Yeah. Right during the end of spawn. Yeah, it seems like. Either, I guess where they I don't know where they get in there and stay out of the light or something. I don't know what they do. They turn dark or something. Kind of weird. My personal best blue that I caught the other night was 38 pounds. And it only it beat my uh, last personal best blue by about, about three pounds. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. Made me want to check the scale. We need to find something that we know weighs a certain amount and check them scales. Yeah. yeah. Just be sure. We need, I, I don't know what to get unless we weigh a five pound bag of sugar, a 10 pound bag of something. Uh oh. He was down in that vegetation. Yeah, that blue was, it was real dark. I've seen some blue that were like slate blue. I mean, they're, they're like slate colored, real pale. And then some of them are real dark. Billy's personal best blue is 60 pounds. That's a nice fish. I want to catch a big one like that. That 38 pound one was big. We really do need to check the scales. I'm just not sure. We need to get a, a bag of something that weighs a certain amount. We'll take them in the store and weigh a big old bag of dog food or something. <laughs> Stick it right through the top of it. <laughs> oh, see how long it takes us to get kicked out of Walmart. <laughs> oh, we can take it in there and hook it on one of them kettle balls or something in the in the sporting goods section. <laughs> Don't think I won't. I'll be like, listen, I'm seeing, trying to see if my scales are true. <laughs> see if my personal best was actually my personal best or how, how, uh, how much off it was. Yeah, but we don't know how much these sinkers weigh. <laughs> For real. I need to get one of them and hook it on that scale and see if how close the sinkers are weighing. I can just see us in there with the with the that scale. A little hook on it, push through the top of a dog food bag, <laughs> fifty pound dog food bag. 
Hmm. What are they doing? Well, I, first thing I'd be like is, I think I'm getting ripped off by y'all. I think y'all are selling me 30 pounds of dog food for $50, 50 pound weight. <laughs> they wouldn't be surprised. Walmart employees have seen everything. When I worked there, there's a, a few times. She said, just remember, uh, sugar comes in four pound bags. <laughs> Missy did. <laughs> hey. Now these, uh, that's solder. solder. I can't solder worth a flip. When I was getting my that computer electronics degree, I tried soldering several things. And I had a nice soldering station, but I'm pretty sure that um, it's a temperature thing. Yeah. My uncle used the old fashioned kind that didn't have a thermostat or whatever on it. Mm -hmm. It's solder good. But I think that the solder station has two settings on it. You don't just get one temperature, good temperature. You probably have to be really good at it in order to use that. What you doing? Hey, did you notice that the car is starting to smell like rock pineapple? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we wanted to get out of there. <laughs> what do you got? What, what you got? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Come here, scales. <laughs> what is that way? It's on pounds. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put my glasses back on. I don't do the we ounces? Convert, so that's uh, like five ounces. It's a six ounce sinker, so. So you got 16. 16 oh, it does ounces. ounces. Okay. That six ounce sinker mm -hmm. weighs dead on five ounces. Does it? <laughs> Yep. JP says, what's up, neighbor? Mm -hmm. We were talking to him earlier in uh, Bullocks. Was it Bullocks? Oh, probably, yeah. Or was it um, yeah, that yeah. catfish crappie tips? Was that during the storm? I was in a couple of lives today, and my mind don't work all that good. So. Yeah, the storm. Yeah, JP was the one that was looking for fishing. People fish with. Where you at, JP? Down in Chattanooga? Um, we're not actually sure. I think we're using a... Uh, 
mix of lead and whatever I pull out there. There's lead and tin, tin and what was that? Those uh, solder. Yeah, there's some solder. Rasful. Oh, okay. Ras Rasful is down there close to Athens where it works. Oh, okay. It's on the other side of Athens, kind of. He's down there next to. More closer to Chattanooga and Hawassi. That's why he was fishing over on Hawassi or wherever close yeah, to You ever fish below the Chickamauga Dam right there? Is there any good bank spots down there? I know there's a pier thing out there. I've seen it when I've been up at the dam on the boat, but. What are you trying to do that? A pound? Nah. I'm just you, checking the. See over there playing with weights. I'm messing with the weights and the scale. Well, you know. Oh, that one. Five ounces. You're six, six ounces. Six ounces weigh five ounces. You're six ounces weigh five ounces, which means they're probably not, not lead. Well, they're probably. It's probably zinc and stuff like that. You check all them six ounces, make sure they're five ounces then. I ain't doing it. Now, the scale could be wrong. It could be six ounces. What is that it's supposed to be? A five ounce? Uh huh. And it's four and a half. Yep. Check every one of them. <laughs> make sure. <laughs> he's only been, oh, JP says it's been years since he's been fishing. Oh, really? And he's only done the Hawassi. Um, I know a guy down on that fishes the Hawassi. Uh, Malik, you know Malik down there. Malik, probably not since he's been fishing a while. He got a little boat. Down. There you go. That one's true. Three ounce. The three ounce is true. I wonder why that's true. It may be true. My scale drum. Why would it be? True on the three ounce and wrong on the other ones. Well, I don't know. I was just saying. The four ounce is true. So it depends on what we're making them with, really, probably. Yep. We got lead, tin, and solder. That's going to change your weights. They're not going to be truly. I don't care. No, this three ounce, though. Now, this three ounce, that three ounce is true. This one's two and a half. Eh. You don't have to just start picking them up in your hand and seeing how they feel. And if you like the feel of it, put it on your, on your line. That was two and a half. It's the three ounce sinker. The other three ounce was three. I would assume the solder is lighter than the lead. Normal. The is probably lighter than the lead. Five ounce weight, that's heavy. We use five and six ounces well, a lot. Four. Well, it just depends. I mean, I like, I like the five and the six. The six sometimes is a little bit too much unless you're using a big bait. Which we do sometimes. Because a lot of times if you don't kind of balance that out with your with your bait, yeah, that sinker needs to be a little bit heavier than your bait because if it ain't, they separate when you throw it. Uncle Red, <laughs> I'm laid off. And uh, Travis, it don't work. He fishes. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. What's with you? <laughs> but no, uh, I'm not up all night every night. I fish late on Wednesday nights, and then normally I'm home sleeping. She says she sleeps. She don't ever sleep. She'll she'll stay up at twelve o'clock every night and get up at four four forty five forty five if she goes to sleep at twelve o'clock when she does work. They laid them off this week, so she's yeah. up. I'm just a professional fisherman. 
I ain't a professional nothing. <laughs> Uh, JP says, I've never even used two ounces except for the ocean. JP, what are you fishing for? He said, uh, he's fished Watts Bar once or twice a decade ago. Man, that's a long time. I bet there's some good fish in it, too. Um, now, the reason we use them big sinkers is because we're using like 10 out hooks and big chunks of bait because we're fishing for big fish. If you look at the nice shorts, I caught a 38 pounder the other day, and Travis's personal best blue was 93 pounds, so we're chasing the giants. We catch a lot of smaller ones. And uh, Jonathan, that 445, I just assume never in my life again get up at 445 in the morning unless I'm going skipjack fishing. But, um, I, I just soon never get up again at 4.45 in the morning. I think it's an evil hour that shouldn't exist. But if I want to get to work by 6 a.m., I got to get up at 4.45. She's lying. She knows she loves it. No, I hate it. But I work in Athens, so it's a little bit of a drive. JP fishes for trout, bass, bluegill, and crappie. Hey, we got some big old trout up here below us. Uh Norwich Dam. Johnson said, I bet there ain't one 93 pound fish from Douglas to Watts Bar. You may be right because that's none of those is really where Travis caught it. Actually, is. my buddy caught a 103 pounder, and let me see, AJ and him brought back to the tournament one night a 86 pound. And the next week they had one that was right at 90. Hey, uh, it ain't been, well, it's what, three tournaments ago? Yeah. They brought, they brought us, brought a 71 pounder and a 61 pounder into the, the no, it, it tournament. No, more than three tournaments. Ago. Yeah, it was, that was that day tournament, the first one for Poland Creek. The, the one we finished? The one we fished? I thought it was the next one. It was nighttime. I thought they were weighing them at night. Which one was it? What, how much did it weigh? 71 and 61? No, that was a day tournament. Oh, so tournament. it is the one we fished in. Yeah, we fished it. Okay, yeah. It was the very first Poland Creek tournament this year. 71 and 61. 61. Right out of Fort Loudon. Dude weighed that 61 in and he thought he had it won. Well, good luck uh, with that. You can catch big ones even from the bank, though, Jonathan. He said, I want to break 30, then 50. My boat will help. Jonathan, right. Jonathan, just Rutherford. holler, holler at me when you get your boat. We'll go catch the big fish. Yep. Um, but I caught that thirty-eight pound one from the bank the other day. We was down on Chickamauga, though. But I caught a thirty-five pound flathead right down there in Port Loudon. Yep. Yeah. 35 pounds, yep. And twice uh, since then, I've caught 20-pound flatheads right out of Fort Loudon. Not that I love Fort Loudon, but this fish are in there. They're just not plentiful Jonathan's like they gonna, used to be. Jonathan's going to love his boat, and he's going to hate it at the same time. You wait and see what I tell you. How far are you from the lake, Jonathan? Would you be too far? No, I think he lives down that way. What are you doing, baby? What is it? Um, JP, Travis is going to run over Bigfoot with his car. Yeah. He said, any Bigfoot encounters? We're going to go look for one here in just a little bit. He said, I moved to Seymour. Uh, Jonathan did. I moved to Seymour, so it ain't far. Cool. What are you doing? Being a whiny girl. He said, Mr. Rogers said, them biggins are out there. I've seen those tournament weigh-ins. Yep. 
Jonathan said the first week of November, then I got to get my Garmin multibars and ultra. So probably first week of December. Oh, come on. We don't need all that. Just get the boats. Yep. You need a trolling motor. Yeah, grab a trolling motor. He's, he lives there about 10 or so minutes from Mike Graham since Mike moved. <clears throat> we haven't been to Mike since he moved. No. Been to his work, though. <laughs> No, we, uh, Jonathan, we have been up almost all night since, uh, Thursday. Yeah. Sleep all day, up all night. What shift do you work now, Jonathan? We, uh, fished four nights in a row. This is the first time we've been out yet. Well, uh, yeah. He said, yeah, $3,000 trolling motor. <laughs> and then he did a bunch of cussy, matty face emojis. <laughs> no, he did. And said, it, it'll be worth it. I was behind Mike the other day on John Sevier. Uh, LOL, big old boat. Oh, that, that's when he was talking about he drove slow, wasn't it? Yeah. He'd been painting on that boat. Yeah, he's been getting it painted. The whole of it and stuff. Also been advertising it. Yeah, he'll sell it. He'll be he's about to, yeah, he's about to sell that boat. Won't be long. You should have bought that boat, Jonathan. Here comes somebody with a radio. <laughs> I just got to get a car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Second shift, 2 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, Go fishing after you get off. You take your boat to work with. If it's closer to the lake. The only problem is <clears throat> getting in and getting enough sleep by two to go back to work. But you only need like three or four hours. Trust me, you can do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although I have to say, I've been getting testy lately. For a long time there, I was kind of all right. Lately, uh, yeah, I've been hateful. You mean you a rattlesnake? I am not mean. You better stop calling me a rattlesnake before I bite you. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to do anything when you're truck driving, JP. He said, I was fishing, JP did. I, I had a little campfire, Hawassi, up there away. Something threw a huge rock in the water, probably 100 plus yards away. You know, we've been hearing that. Bigfoot. Uncle Rudd's cafe. Or, yeah, Johnson said, that's the plan. I met the Woggles on 411 in Maryville now. Oh. I stop in through there when I go through sometimes at that Michaels. He was truck driving. It didn't work out. Then he was lining sewer pipes in Chattanooga. And uh, Johnson said, if I pay $25,000 for a boat, I'm sleeping on the thing some nights. I think Jody sits in hers and watches TV and everything. <laughs> Out in the yard. <laughs> she said she's sitting in it the other day and the bushes moved or something. She was watching uh, some kind of movie. She said she didn't watch scary movies, but she watched that. 
Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. That's what it was. She watched Jurassic Park in the uh the bushes move and she thought Velociraptor was coming after. <laughs> I almost got creeped out at the place we fished at that I caught my personal best the other night at, but it's because we had a big old haunted house behind us. <laughs> <laughs> When I would go back to the trunk of the back to the trunk of the car behind the car, I was like looking over my shoulder and stuff. I wanted to see somebody standing up there on that hill. <laughs> I'd have died. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have come back around to their trails. You could freak some people out down there. Oh yeah. If you'd wait if you waited like got down there somewhere and waited till somebody pulled down in there and then just stepped up, <laughs> you could have a Michael Myers mask and a and then plastic knives and just mess somebody all up. <laughs> then the raccoons started messing around up there. I was like, okay, I don't know what that is, but I went and got the bear spray just in case. The rocks being thrown in the water are catfish and striper feeding. I've seen them and it about gave me a dang stroke. Um, we've seen some down there at um, Concord. I mean, we heard that down at Concord and it was freaking beavers. Yeah, the beavers, they don't like you coming around there. And I don't know how that they make that. They may make a, a splashing sound like a, a, a. I know, but it don't sound like a smack. It sounds like a big old rock hit in the water. Yeah. It's weird, the noise they make. <clears throat> you want us to go Bigfoot hunting? <laughs> JP. We're going Bigfoot hunting? Why would I Don't touch it. You're going to make it pop getting that wood in there. Try to get some of this up before it gets too crazy. You may have to do something with it. That's been on there while that, that piece hadn't. Oh. I know that's your chopping block and you got it all covered in metal. <laughs> no, I got a couple more over there. So. Oh, okay. This is one that we use for seat. I've learned so much stuff since I've been seeing Travis. I'm in my current age, and uh, I'd never run a chainsaw before. He just teaches me all kinds of stuff. Guess he thinks I need to be able to do it all. I didn't pour any sinkers tonight, though. Didn't let me pour no sinkers. Nope. Oh, the haunted house mask is what he was talking about. Haunted house mask. When I said I needed to get a, a, a Jason mask and stand up here with like a plastic knife mm -hmm. on that hill and scare, scare the daylight says <laughs> somebody, they'd be jumping in the water. They'd rather take their chances with the water than the, the person standing up there by that big old house. <laughs> the house is like right up on the little hill and back in its day it's been a beautiful old home overlooking the water or beautiful home overlooking the water there the river but now it it looks like it's probably mm, what 1920s to 1940s maybe maybe yeah maybe not that old but it's definitely pre-1950s well, it could be older than it, actually um, it was, it's one of them tall ones with the big long windows and stuff, but the windows have been kind of boarded up and I mean, you can just tell it's been empty for a while. It's a clapboard house. And, uh, man, it just looks like it's right out of a Stephen King movie. So it's just a tad bit creepy and I'm not a scary person. I don't get scared about stuff. I ain't, I'm never afraid out in the woods. Cool. But the house is definitely, it's definitely got some creep factor. That stuff burn your eyes, don't it? Oh, I do. You got a chainsaw as tall as me. <laughs> it 
There's a giant beaver down by the bridge the size of a human. Are you talking about a uh, Concord, Concord Bridge? The one that scared the crap out of Jacob. <laughs> uh, you posted that on your face yeah. uh, on your, your YouTube. Yeah, Travis went hunting that beaver. That little trail that's down be behind the outhouse thing or Rutherford. behind the uh, Port of John. Who's talking about that, Rutherford? Rutherford. Hey, you got to go watch that. I, it was a big beaver. It was huge. I know you know Jacob Arms. It scared the crap out of him. He went down there to get that fish and went down that little trail. And when he came back up, that beaver was over there at that trail eating on a piece of wood and standing up on its back legs. You should have heard him come up out there. It's no BS catfishing. But yeah, I agree. That's a big old beaver down there. Oh, because when he came back up, we were trying to figure out what it was. We thought he'd run into a skunk. When he heard, we heard him yell, we thought that he got on on a skunk or something down there. You know, we didn't know what what was going on. But he was like, <gasps> he came up through there, freaked out, and uh, Travis is like, "What is it?" So they started shining the light down there, and he's like, that's a beaver. I got to go down there. If Travis sees an animal, he's going after it, <laughs> period. He's going to go see if he can get close to it. But he went down through there, and there ended up being two mm -hmm. beavers down there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Travis is down there. I was like, oh, Lord, that beaver's going to take him because it is big. It's about three foot tall. That's pretty big when it's on its own time length. Yep. That was funny. It's funny. It's Travis Lee fishing poles by, uh, behind and all. If an animal comes around that he wants to go chase down. <laughs> That's cool, though. And we'll chase down anything. What one year it was snakes and whatever it is. Oh, he swung a spider at me the other day and made me cuss on a live. <laughs> we need to pull a short from that. I said, watch this. You should have seen her. Where's we at when I done that? Disco, I think. Wednesday? Might have been. It was funny, though. It wasn't funny. It was either Disco or down there where I got the PB. It might have been. Oh, it was down there. That new spot where I got my personal best, that was where it was. I, I can't believe you that you think it's okay to do that. It's funny. <laughs> it was not funny. It's not okay ever to swing a spider at me. That will get you hurt. I will forget that you're a man and that I'll just forget all that. I'll forget I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I will swing on you. He made me cuss on a live, a big bad word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a mess it was a, it wasn't that big a spider but he he had it hanging he pulled it it was on my phone so i hopped up out of the chair and went over there and was making him get it off because spiders are my only fear true fear but he picked up he got the web and that spider was hanging down off of it and he swung it my way mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't pull a short from, I can't, I haven't been able to pull a short from a, a live. No, I just went to my, uh. That's why I never have a. I pulled out my thing and re put record screen. I never have my. That's easy way to do it. Oh. Well, we got a few done. I never have my own uh, video. I was going to have to cool before I put it up, but. You want to show them all you made? Well, they can see them, can't they? I reckon, I don't know. Them egg sinkers? Well, we made the ones in the red bucket and that little cast iron bucket down there. <laughs> That's a cauldron. Uh, a near, what? That's a cauldron. You're which? I guess. Whatever they want to call it. <laughs> this is the one most ones I made the other night.
What do you think? Uh, what time is it? Two or something? It's like 2 30 in the morning. Yeah. I guess I can put that right there. <clears throat> put the chair back in the middle. I don't know. I just not. Stuff around. I'm trying to throw the phone down and charge the thing and all the stuff. Crash and stuff. I'm pretty good at it, though. Yeah. Your trunk light went off. I'm having a hard time getting it back in there. Go go automatically. Well, we're running out of store real quick. All right, let me close the lab out. Someone's going to go watch it. Go watch what? That oh. video of the beaver thing. Yeah, it's funny. All right, guys. Appreciate everybody coming in. Yeah. If we decide to uh, go fishing for a little bit, we might run out here to the lake real quick. We'll go. I don't know. I'll go live again if we, uh, if if we, we go fishing. If we can find a spot on the north. I don't think I'll drive all the way to Loudon. No. no. By the time we got down there, it'd be about daylight. But um, we'll be fishing a lot this week. I'm laid off, so whoop, whoop, we're going to make hay while sun shines. We might get some day fishing in. Yep. If we get to sleep in it. Yeah. <laughs> we slept, uh, I slept till my wallet thing is in there. Yep. Um, if you go to no BS catfishing, which is Travis's YouTube channel. Um, you'll find it in the video section, not the shorts or the uh, live section. It's video. But um, I think it's called Beaver Hunt or something. See, so see that. These are some of the concrete pots we made. Can't really see them because I'm in the light, but when we were on hiatus from fishing last time. But, yeah. If you can't, you should be able to find that channel. Did you see it, Jonathan? But yeah, his uh, if you look in there, his channel should be in my stuff in my, you know, in my list of shared channels. But anyway, we're gonna go. Thanks for coming in and watching, watching us make some weights. And I'll be live a lot this weekend. My normal Wednesday night, seven to ten. Oh, it'll be more like seven to all night this week, but we'll be somewhere fishing for sure that night, but we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be fishing a whole lot this week. So later guys, we're out. Bye.